Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you a diverse large language model called as ASGPT 7 billion. This model is primarily focused on Arabic language. So we will be installing this model locally on our Windows system and then we will be testing it out on various benchmarks in Arabic language. I am not an Arabic language speaker, so I will be using Google Translate to translate English into Arabic prompts and then we will be testing them out. Before I show you the installation and then play around with various benchmarks, let's have a quick look at this model which seems really good. So this ASGPT is a fully fine-tuned generative text model collection based on Llama 2 and there are other variants too other than 7 billion instruction tuned chat and few others. Also, this is particularly fine-tuned for Arabic language domain. So it's a it's based on Llama 2 and it ranges from 7 billion to 13 billion parameters. And there are two categories of this model, ASGPT and ASGPT chat. ASGTP chat is an optimized version specifically designed for dialogue applications. It is worth mentioning that their models have demonstrated superior performance compared to all currently available open source Arabic dialogue models in multiple benchmark tests. So if you just want to do Arabic dialogue and then I believe this model is at the top. And in my previous video, I already showed you the open LLM Arabic leaderboard where this ASG, um, ASGPT is supreme. It really, really beats a lot of other models, though command R is still the go to portal for any other Arabic language uh, question you have. But for the dialogue models, I think this model ASGPT is really good. Also, in their human evaluations, the models have shown comparable satisfaction level to some closed source models such as ChatGPT and few others. Okay, so the developer of this model is from School of Data Science, the Chinese University of Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and also the Shenzhen Research Institute of Big Data and King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia is also behind this. So, other than that, let's also look at the methodology they have used. So the core of their approach lies in the localizing LLMs to the Arabic language using a packaged solution, which is called as this ASGPT. And firstly, through incremental pre-training on Arabic data, which is also called as localized pre-training, they ensure that the model has a strong foundation in the Arabic language, including grammar, vocabulary, and cultural context. Next, by fine-tuning Arabic natural questions, which is localized instructions, they have enabled the model to effectively comprehend and respond to specific instructions that are pertinent to Arab interests. Also, by generating Arabic and native responses from GPT-4, rather than relying on translation from other languages, they have ensured that the model's output are natural and fluent within the Arabic context thanks to the powerful GPT-4. And lastly, by employing a reward model based on localized preference data that respects local culture and value, they have further refined the model to align the responses within the culture and value norms of Arabic speaking communities. So which is pretty good, good to see that it is being fine tuned as per Arabic nuances. Anyway, that's it. Let's go to my tool LM studio where I'm going to download and install this model for you. So launch LM studio and just type ASGPT here and if you don't know what well, what LM Studio is, I already have covered it in detail on my channel. Please search. Then you can see that a lot of people have already done the quantized version. I have uh, downloaded one chat that you have uh, from Abdullah, and the size is just under 5 gig. If you look at the file, this is a file, and then let's load the model in LM Studio, and you can keep an eye on the resource you see on the top left. Let's wait for it to come back. Model is loaded. Let me offload all the layers to the GPU. Let's go here. That is good. Let's also enable the flash attention. And then let me also see if there is a Llama 2, which we need for the preset. I think should be good, but Okay, I'll just go with the LM Studio default one, that is fine. 
okay so our model is all set we need to reload it because we have offloaded all the layers to gpu while it reloads let's go to google translate and i am going to translate this dialogue prompt like you have just discovered a hidden door in your attic that leads to a mysterious underground library filled with ancient books and artifacts what do you f do first so let me copy this the arabic one and let me ask it there you go so it is typing some arabic i can't read it so i wouldn't hmm nice so it's, it has given us that english translation too so i just want to make sure that what this is i'm just going to take it here go here and then i'll remove this english or arabic and then see there you go so it has perfectly answered it amazing stuff so really good let's try a dialogue as per some arabic context so <clears throat> for that one let me first switch to english remove it in this one i am asking it while exploring your grandmother's old chest you find a hidden compartment containing a beautifully ornate oath which is a traditional singing instrument in arab world and a stack of old letters written in arabic what do you do first let's grab it let's go here and ask it if that is good it says i will attempt to read the inscription on the wooden side of the chest perhaps it's an instrument that my grandmother used or even a picture from her life era and okay let me uh, progress it further the dialogue so i am saying in that chest you also find a recipe of kunafe name how would you prepare it kunafe name is a palestinian kunafa a sweet dish amazing dish if you haven't tried it i would highly suggest it it is a different from the hard kunafa it's a very soft one anyway so let's see if model understands that wow i think it is doing something there oh it says i melt the frozen kunafa in a small pot with some water or milk exactly and then it is mixing a ball and it is giving you the whole recipe amazing amazing stuff and let's ask a question about around the context of arabian nights so i am asking it while wandering through the bustling marketplace of an ancient city you stumble upon an old dusty lamp that a mysterious merchant claims once belonged to a powerful sorcerer from the tales of arabian nights what do you do so let's ask the model there you go and you see how swiftly it writes the arabic because it says first i'll check the lantern is broken and still functional and then i'll examine it carefully to see if there are any unused details or etching and blah 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 so it's really is carrying on the dialogue and if you're in um, arabic speaking so please let us know uh, verify in the comments that is is this translation is really um, good is it vernacular or very classic i would be very interested in hearing your uh, feedback on the translation but for me as far as google translate is concerned this looks spot on so i will drop the link to this model card in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching